Lawyer Maka. Very important. Very important. What is it? There is a question I would like to ask you. Sorry for disturbing you. Auntie Amaka, you are a fine girl. Hmm? You are beautiful. In fact, you are educated. You have a good job. Why are you married? What kind of question is this? Uh, because, uh, in fact, uh, all your age mates are all married. Uh, look at that useless, good for nothing girl, Bisola, that lives at the back. It's wedding next Saturday. Eh? One unfortunate boy, Maria. Uh, you see why I'm so uh, concerned about you. If that useless girl eh, can marry, uh, what is holding you? If there is nothing you can do about it, I can take you to one baba. He will wash your face two times a day, seven days in a week. Hmm? He will do it. In fact, eh, by the time he is done with you, you see men with dollars and pounds, naira and kobo. Look at how they be walking, crawling, following you. Amaka, will you marry me? Amaka, will you marry me? Amaka, will you marry me? Mr. Columbus. Why are you not dead? Eh? Dead? Why are you still alive? Ha! Hey, Amaka. How can you ask me such question? Yes, I will ask you that question because men your age, even the ones that are younger, have died. Those that have been so useful to their families died. You remember that young man by the corner? The one that died last week? He was younger than you are. Very useful to his family. Yet he died. And you're still here. Why are you not dead? Ah, ah, lawyer Amaka, you don't wish me well at all. How can I die? Who will train my children? I see. Next time, Learn to mind your business, okay? Out of my sight. Out! Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Now, advice you. Don't be by force. Eh? Come on, advice. You say, make I die. Hey! Columbus, you don't suffer. If nobody is my plane, will crash. What are they fine for this compound? Don't worry. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Yeah. Eu coco, eu It's beautiful. You can say that again. Wow. You I love the stones. Exactly. I took my time to select this one. Hand stone though. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is lovely. Thank you. You know, <sighs> weddings are beautiful moments in a woman's life. Especially when it is with the right man. <laughs> of course. Not with some riffraff like that. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. You know what this is, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hey! hey. <laughs> She'll be so happy. She'll be so happy. Yeah. Me, yeah, I cannot spend all the years I spent in school, law school, um, call to bar and everything to mm. end up with one riffraff. I cannot. God forbid. God forbid. Oh. Mm. This is nice. Hello? Yeah, Chichi, how are you? No, 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 no. I can't. I'm sorry. I have a workshop today. I'm very busy, extremely busy. You have to come and pick it up. Uh-huh. Yes. You have to come. This is a very busy period for me. I have workshops. I have training. I have seminars going. No, I can't. 
have to come and pick it by yourself. Yes, bye bye. Okay, bye. Look at this girl, she wants me to do everything for her. She cannot come and pick her wedding gown. Is that how lazy someone can get? She's lucky to have you do things for she's, her. She's been like that all her life. She graduated this April, met this man, and they're getting married next week. <gasps> Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. That's divine fever. Hmm. My darling, like daddy always mm. says, every woman has her own speck and time. Hmm. That's true. As for me, I want to get married to the most handsome, hmm. caring, hmm. and richest man ever. Only mm. you. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'll take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you're there for my cousin's wedding. Of course I will. That is if my tailor doesn't disappoint me. You see these tailors? They will not make heaven. I swear. You know the ones I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The ones that are supposed to give you like this, uh, like this, our glass. like this, uh. but they will give you like this. <laughs> Why this? Why this? How? How would they make heaven? Ah. God, you're so funny. <laughs> Please let me start this. Oh, but this is me. lovely. I Thank love you. it. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, so let me put the back in the bag and not soil it for her. Mm -hmm. Such in a hurry. I told you we have workshop at workplace and I'm the one in charge. Oh, mm -hmm. as usual. <laughs> anyway, it. just take care of yourself, okay? You know these private companies, they have a way of draining one's entire life. So you have to take it easy on yourself. Thank you, I will. But look on the bright side. Very soon, yours truly will be the GM of the company. Hmm. So I say congratulations in advance. Thank you. Thank you. As for me, I love my marketing job mm. because I can do it from home and with my phone. Lucky you. <laughs> All right, you can, please help me tell the housekeeper to pump water. I barely had a bath this morning. You know I don't talk to that man. You have to try. See you later. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. Good morning. Hello, Amaka. <laughs> Good morning. Why didn't you pump water? I barely had the bath. Uh, but it's not my fault, Lord Amaka. How is it not your fault? You people use water too much. How can one person use three buckets of water to bath? Eh? Una me water. water. I'm water now. They use cup. They, they do them small, small. They manage water. Columbus, I don't have your time this morning. Okay, as you can see, I'm in a hurry. Sister. It has been agreed that you pump water once in three days at least. Do what you have been told to do and stop giving flimsy excuses. This is the problem I have with you people that I refuse to marry. Eh? You don't what have did you to. Just say? I said I will pump the water after brushing my teeth. Eh? I, I just woke up. You think I didn't hear you, right? Or you think I'm stupid? Let this be the last time you will make such a statement around me. Do you hear me? You said you were in a hurry. How is that your business? How? Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on my way, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah. I can see you don't like your job anymore. Uh, uh, Madam Nube, sorry. And I joke at the joke. Not today. Nothing anybody can do to me. This is my brother's house. Eh? I was once a barista before I became a pilot. Not because my, my, my plane, I, I'm driving crash. That is why I'm a security here. Everybody has his own office. I wish this rain the way they do. I, I, I go, go pit them well, well before I come here. That's your mouth. You know, go talk to me again. Don't have respect for your father's age mate. This kind of nonsense with this. Eh? Because I'll because I, I, I be security here. This must much children won't begin chance me here.
Hello, sir. Very well, sir. <laughs> I know. But, sir, you did not make the orders you promised. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Of course, I, I trust you. I trust you, sir. <laughs> okay, not a problem. Till then. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you very much. Yes, you too. Bye. <laughs> Who is this one again? Hello? Who is this? Ah, oh, Mr. Ben. I'm very well. Mm-hmm. You want to see me? What for? It is not business, so what is it for? Yes, because you said you want to meet with me personally, so I'm asking, what for? Ah, uh, Mr. Ben, please, I've heard such stories a thousand times. Mm-hmm. He will have to pay for my taxi and other inconveniences. It's okay. Not a problem. But that will be much later in the day. All right. Bye. Oh. What does he want to see me for? <sighs> Sweetheart. Yes. Here's the list. For things that I need to buy for the house and to cook. Baby, why do you have to throw away the paper like that? Why do you keep coming at me without an explanation as to how you spent the last bulk of cash that I gave to you? I have told you next time you want money, can I see a breakdown of how you spent the monies that I have given in the past? We've had this conversation before, have we not? Account? Yes, I want an account. For how much? For one naira, for one dollar, for a cent, for one cobble. It's money, Patricia. All right? I didn't come this far by being a frivolous spender. I didn't come this far by not accounting for how I spend cash that comes my way. Charles, I am your wife to be. Why do I have to explain the money that you give to me to cook, to make things for you, to buy things for the house? Why? Why do I have to do that? Come my on! dear wife, I have just told you. That I am an accountant and it should reflect in the way that I live my life. You met me this way. This is who I am. If I give you money, I want you to account for it before you ask me for another bulk of cash. That is how it works. Now I ask you, my dear wife to be, is that too much to ask? Okay, so what do I do now? Simple. Account for past expenditure and get another bulk of cash. It's simple. It's called accountability. Okay. What do you know? It's not your fault. You don't work. You don't do nothing. You just got off NYSE. So you don't know how hard it is to make money. You go get a job. 
and see how difficult it is and see if you spend your own cash without accounting for it. I think I came this far by throwing money away. Okay. Well, like I said before, I'm an engineer, a civil engineer. I build properties and sell. And also by the grace of God, I'm not really doing bad. <laughs> you already know what I do. Yeah, that, of course. You see, I just want us to get to know each other better. I want to build something serious with you. I mean a serious relationship. Um, listen, Mr. Ben. I have heard these kind of stories a thousand and one times. Hmm? And at the end of the day, it all boils down to one thing. Please, say what you want to say and I'll give you my response. I don't have time for all these your roundabout talks. But Joyce, you know you're, you're quite a pretty lady. And I'm very certain you also have a very wonderful personality. I also know, due to your kind of job, you definitely might be having a lot of people, men especially, who disturb you. But I'm just asking for a chance to prove to you that I'm not like them. I'm someone different. So what do you want me to do? At least, um, I don't think it would be really nice to say anything further. Let's get somewhere quiet so we can get to know ourselves better. What do you think? I think it is too early to start jumping around town with you. Come on, Joy. Besides, it is getting late. Come on, Joy. I mean, who is talking about jumping around town? I'm just talking about us going to somewhere serene where we can actually have dinner. Rainbow fast foods. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, but please, let's make it snappy. Oh, the other day, I asked my mama the meaning of love. Just like tangerine, when you test it, you will feel different inside.
Yes, we don't. Where were you yesterday? At this time? At exactly this time? Where was I? Baby, what is the matter? Patricia, I'm sure you're not suffering from amnesia. I asked a question and I want answers. Who were you with at this time yesterday and where were you? Charles, this your idea of always suspecting every move I make is actually getting on me. Yes. Baby, in this relationship, you really, really have to trust me. Trust you? Pat, trust you? How? How do I get to begin to trust you when you gallivant around town with every man that you can find, kissing and hugging them? You talk about trust with me, Pat. Really? Kiss? Hug? Who? Tonight, Pat, that yesterday and about this time that you were not with some man I like this one, kissing and hugging him, following him to his car, and he took you to God knows where to do God knows what, and you stand here and talk to me about trust. How? Charles, are you actually monitoring me? I have a job. You hear me? I wasn't following you around. I have a job or someone saw you. When you are in a relationship with someone, you give account for where you go, who you mingle with, because you never know just who is watching. But I will show you something right now. Someone saw you and did a video of you kissing and hugging some guy. You can lie to me, but this would not lie. Go ahead. Without lie to. Yeah, that's it. Who was that man? You were hugging him. You followed him to his car. Where did he take you? What did you do to him? Just stop! No, you stop! This is Mike. Who's Mike? My cousin. The guy that saw me through school. Oh, oh. And I am sure to have actually mentioned him to you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, a couple, couple of times, yeah. Tell me, who else did your informant tell you that I was with yesterday? Speak. Who? All right, calm down. No, 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 no. Tell me who. Sweetheart, communication now. All right? I mean, look at it. You should have just told me that your cousin was in town. Yeah, you constantly talked about him, but you didn't tell me. All right? You, 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 don't, you don't tell me what you do sometimes. And you know, you know how jealous and protective I can get sometimes. You know I love you. Huh? I love you with all my heart. You don't blame me when I get this way. I mean, you didn't tell me your cousin was in town. I mean, I would have invited him to the house and we'll have a big dinner or something. Babe, I'm sorry, okay? I am sorry I came out this way. It's because I love you. All right, please, please, please. Next time, let's talk so we, you know, we avoid mix, mix, mix up like this. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Sweetheart, baby, I'm sorry. Huh? I love you. You're my woman. I mean, look at you. Uh, what man won't get jealous? Uh, mm. Baby, please, forgive me. Uh, mm, please, forgive me. Let's not fight. Uh, I was just jealous. Uh, that some, some spineless nigga was trying to take my woman from me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Welcome, it, it's, good to, it's good to have you. Mm, I was, was actually bored without you. Welcome back. Uh, I'm happy. Huh? I'm sorry, baby. Huh? Let it go. Back. It's just um, trying to finish up a few, um, a few things for a, for a client. Uh, Malisha, uh, you know, I was actually waiting on you to return so that um, we can, you know, have something in the house to eat. You know, I'm thinking today that we should um, do something totally different. You know, maybe you um, make us some lovely African cuisine. Uh, like oh four, I got a, uh, with a lot of spice and good meat. Uh, you know, I'm a traditional man. Uh. <laughs> I'm a, like I can nigga. Uh, uh, fine girl. Uh, look at her. Look at her. Uh, you got me all jealous and shit. <laughs> uh, I come join you later, baby.
You're welcome once again. Thank you. That reminds me. All right. Happy birthday in advance. Oh, Ben. All this for me? Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. This is so beautiful and colorful. Well, I'm happy you like them. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, one more thing. I think, um... Please add this to your better preparations. It's just a token. <laughs> Come on. You called us a token. This is more than enough. It's all right, my dear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, I wasn't even expecting any of this. <laughs> it's all right. You're welcome. This is indeed a surprise. And I hope you will invite me to the party. Mm hmm. Hmm. He will be the guest of honor. I promise you that. <laughs> This is too much. This is indeed a surprise. Thank you so much. Oh, please pardon my manners. What would you love to eat or drink? Well, it's okay. I think I'm full. You Very full. You don't want anything. I'm Just... okay. I'm okay. All right, then. <laughs> All right, my dear. Let me take my leave. All right. I'm right behind you. Let me see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. 